This video will demonstrate deploying OpenShift 4 to VMware vSphere using the Full Stack Automation Experience, also known as Installer Provisioned Infrastructure. vSphere IPI requires two IP addresses with DNS records assigned. We begin by verifying that the API and Ingress wildcard records are created and valid. To deploy the cluster, we are using the OpenShift Installer's interactive mode. After invoking the command, it prompts us for each piece of information needed, starting with the SSH key used to authenticate with nodes during installation. For the target platform, we will select vSphere and provide the vCenter URL, username, and password. The installer will detect and pre-select defaults if only one option exists, such as for the data center and cluster in this demonstration. The data store used to store the virtual machine disks and the network they will be attached to are selected from the list of available options before continuing. The API IP address matches the DNS record used for api.clustername.domainName, and the ingress IP address matches the DNS wildcard for apps.clustername.domainName. As with all OpenShift deployments, we also provide the base domain, cluster name, and pull secret to complete the installer's prerequisites. At this point, the installer will manage deploying the bootstrap and control plane virtual machines using the compute, storage, and network resources specified at the previous prompts. A Red Hat Enterprise Linux CoreOS template is created and used for the virtual machines. Once the template has finished uploading, it is used by the installer for the bootstrap and control plane nodes, which are powered on after the cloning to begin configuration. The OpenShift bootstrap process will instantiate the production control plane and hand over control. We will skip ahead a few minutes during this process. Once bootstrapping is complete, the virtual machine is destroyed automatically. The control plane will now create worker nodes using the same template as before and complete the OpenShift installation process. This will take a few minutes, so we will skip ahead. When the install process has completed, we can see in vCenter that the worker nodes have been successfully created. Using the console URL and kubeadmin password provided by OpenShift install, we will connect to the OpenShift cluster's administrator console. To review the node configuration, browse to Compute, then Nodes, which displays the list of nodes and their role. Moving to the Machines view, each node has information reported by the provider regarding the current provisioning phase and state. Finally, the Machine Sets view shows the default worker machine set, which can be used as a template for customizing additional resources. Thank you for watching this demonstration of deploying OpenShift 4 using vSphere installer provisioned infrastructure. For more information, please visit openshift.com.